I've got an idea of something I'd like to try. If you remember, we were able to get behind the wall by going through the underground under the high priest tomb. What happens if we do that now? Let's go try. Maybe I haven't messed this up as much as I thought I did. It's quite possible I did, but let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Down the stairs. Use the compass. Go out. Interesting. We've gotten past that part. It's pitch black. You can't go that way. There's got to be a way. Okay, we still can't go forward. But we're not as stuck as I thought we were. Not necessarily. That's interesting. Okay, so I was right. This is what you're supposed to do. So now we go back out here. And then... We go forward. Here's where I was stuck. I actually looked up a walkthrough to see what to do at this point to see if I had messed something up. I didn't. I just didn't think of one item that I was supposed to use. And that was this. There we are. You can see a white block in the left wall. When you look through the mask, it looks white. Can't take it. Can I push it? I can. Block pushed and wall opens. Okay. So this is the one place where I was stuck. Let's keep going. What do we see? It's a temple. Oh, it's Tezcat. <laughs> okay. I didn't even see what level I was. Uh, last time we used the Akbal Jewel. It does not affect Tezcat. Oops. Um. Join Blue Jewel to Sword. Now let's try to fight. Badly damaged. Okay, that is the right approach. Level 21. Guy's taking a lot of hits. Whew, just in time, too. Okay, I beat Tez Cat. The wall is shining. There's an exit to right. You look inside the temple and see a golden key. If you could only open the temple, you could get the key. Supporting the giant key. That's probably the sun key. There's a stand bearing the key in the center, and that is the sun key. Okay. Something tells me... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm too big. What was it about drinking the potion at midnight and shrinking? Okay, let's try drinking something. Worked for Alice, right? Oh, wait. Jose the guide suddenly turns into a demon. Give me that flask, it's mine. I don't need you anymore. Now I've gotten this far. Ha ha ha. It was my friends who kidnapped Rose and I have the ring of Itza. All I need now is the sun key and I will be able to rule the world forever. I will overthrow Tentacula and become leader of the Mayans. It is a pity, but you are going to die without ever getting to see Tentacula's shrine. And you'll never see Rose again either. Now hand over that flask. 
Oh my gosh, I was right. He was the murderer. He killed everybody. Ah! Wow. So it was him all along. It was the guide. He did do it. Yes. He did it all along. Well, he's the demon. You probably shouldn't have let me take this then, friendo. Scareface. His name is Scareface. Well, you retrieved the ring of Itza, but is Rose okay? You fear the worst, but you can't give her up for lost. Well, that was a shocking turn of events. Okay. My goodness, I'm just sort of, it's been an emotional roller coaster. I've gone from thinking I completely botched the puzzle to realizing I hadn't botched the puzzle to suddenly recognizing that my guide was a demon all along. And I was just being snarky when I said I thought he killed everybody, but I didn't realize he did. Oh well, you'll just have to go it alone. Okay, time passes. Time to drink a potion. You drink the contents of the larger flask. Hey, what's happening? I'm shrinking. The tiny little temple grows until it towers over you. You have shrunk quite a bit. Well, let's -a go. You enter the temple. It is covered with a meaningless pattern. Covered in patterns. There's a hole in the left wall. I'm sure it's a keyhole of some sort. Supporting the giant key. This is the sun key. That means that this building is the temple of the sun. The key is bigger than you and you can't carry it. The exit is too small anyway. Well, that's a poop. Can I use my silver key? Key turns with a click. The whole temple shakes. The temple is unlocked. Can I drink my other potion and get big now? Your body grows again after drinking the potion. I had to do move temple. The palace is open. That was really a foolish way of doing it, but I did figure it out. Okay, it's open. Sun key is there. As its name suggests, the key shines like the sun. Once the key is taken, the temple closes on its own. You have finally done it. You've managed to find the sun key. The room suddenly starts to shake and you feel dizzy. Help! Okay. Where am I? I am Tentacula, king of the underworld. You're very brave to come here alone, but foolish. You and Rose will now become sacrifices in my honor. Well, I'm level 30. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's use that jewel. Okay, I'm chanting over the jewel. Let's see about fighting this guy. Hardly damaged at all. Uh, that's not good. 
Um, use the Ring of Itza. Oh, okay. I've upgraded again. I hold the Ring of Itza in the light. Now he's badly damaged. Okay. I've still got 6,000 hit points. Finally! Okay, we beat him! Now what? Well done! Rose is lying down. She looks beautiful and sleep, but wait, she's not dead. Well, that's good. Wake up, Rose, it's me, Con Color. Wait, I can use the sensor to wake her. Okay, well, that's what we finally need to have. So let's see. Use sensor. Can't use it. Okay, do I need to go back? Okay, let's try put sensor. Sensor is placed on floor. Put incense. Incense removed from bag and placed inside sensor. Okay, great. Last thing I think we need to use is the lighter. You light the incense with the lighter and it gives off a beautiful perfume. Wait a minute. Yes, Rose is coming round at last. You managed to break the spell! Rose, Rose! Are you alright? It's me, Concolor! Oh, Concolor, I'm so glad you're safe! Where's Tentacula? Have you defeated him? That's right! I also managed to get the Sun Key! Great! Quick, use the Sun Key to lock this place up forever! Right here! Use the key in the hole! All right, here we go. When you use the key in the hole, the whole palace starts to rock. Watch out, the ceiling has started to crumble. You'd better get out of there. Load-bearing key. This way! You grab Rose's hand and run for the exit. Oh, wow, it really was a load-bearing pyramid. <laughs> and so, Tentacula and his shrine were buried deep underground. The Sun Key trapped Tentacula forever and opened the door to the time of the Mayans. We collapsed as we stepped out into this other world, but the people helped us. Rose's father was there. He had become a high priest and was very glad we'd succeeded in destroying Tentacula. Now they treated us like kings. Well, that's a twist I didn't see coming. We are now living during the Mayan civilization. A celebration will soon begin before the temple. And 
the people have gathered to praise us as heroes. The end. Well, that is fantastic. I have never finished this. I never got anywhere near finishing this game before. But I finished this. I think this is a this is a pretty satisfying conclusion. Definitely not the ending I expected. I didn't expect that we are going to travel back through time and live in Mayan civilization. I'm glad to hear that the professor was fine. And honestly, that was a pretty satisfying conclusion. And I was right. The guide was behind it all along. No, but a great story, a great game. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. This is another point and click adventure, one I've never gotten all the way through before, and it was really a great one to play. So thank you again for joining me on this journey. I hope you had a good time. And if you liked content like this, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, most importantly, I hope you had fun. See you again in another game.